From the patient files of Dr. Jeremiah Arkham, director of Arkham Asylum. Patient Carl Helfern, also known as Dr. Death. The patient suffers from psychopathy and delusions of grandeur. Session 20. So, Carl, how are we doing today? Hmm? What's the matter now? What's the matter now, Isis? I could always give you some pills, Carl. Make you feel better, happier. I don't want any pills here, Doctor. No? What do you want, then? I want to get out of here! Out of this filthy place! I'm rotting away here! I can't stand it anymore! I've been here for eight years now! Meanwhile, the Joker, the Riddler, and all those other fools just come and go! I want to get out of here and get my revenge on the Fluttermouse! Oh, this again. What this again? What else is there? I am the greatest supervillain this city has ever seen. The first supervillain. The original. I shouldn't be locked away in this verdanten madhouse. Do you remember, Herr Doctor? Do you remember my brilliant crimes? Ah, the good old days. That time I released a deadly mist upon the entire city. Infected everyone. Only way they could get the antidote was if the city paid me ten million dollars. <laughs> I would have gotten away with it too, if only it wasn't for the flutter mouse. These other so-called supervillains, the ones who came after me, what are they? The Joker, a stupid clown. Stupid clown with stupid jokes. How can he be called Batman's nemesis? He's ridiculous. He's an insult to me and the Fluttermouse. And the Riddler, what ein Dumkopf, reveals his crimes beforehand. Most incompetent idiot I've ever seen. And what about that Two-Face? Can't even make up his own mind. Have you seen him play with that coin, Herr Doctor? Like I'm Kinder. I tell you, Herr Doctor, these fools, they oh, aren't you even... Shut the... up. <laughs> Was? I said shut up. I'm so tired of your infernal babbling. Was? You always do this. You always go on about the old days, how you terrorized the entire city, and how you're a much better criminal than all the other lunatics in this place. Well, I've got news for you, Carl. No one cares. No one cares about you. No one even remembers you. The Joker, the Riddler, Two-Face, everyone knows of them. But Dr. Death... More like Doctor Who. Get over yourself, Carl. You're a loser. A has-been. Sure, you terrorized the entire city. Eight years ago. I doubt even Batman remembers you now. Now, wait a minute. I mean, look at you. What are you compared to them? They have longevity. They're all unique, each with their own iconic gimmicks and personalities. And you. You're a, a generic mad scientist. You're dime a dozen. You even have the stereotypical German accent. What a joke. I thought you were here to help me, not insult me. You say you want out of here? Well, why won't you just escape? Like everyone else does. I've tried many times, but... Oh, please. You haven't really tried. If you did, you'd be out of here by now. You know what I think, Carl? I think you're afraid to escape. That is ridiculous. 
Why would I be afraid? I think you're afraid that everything I just said will turn out to be true. You'll turn out to be a generic mad scientist has been. Not good enough to cut it in today's Gotham. I think you're afraid that once on the outside, you'll finally realize once and for all that you really are nothing compared to the other supervillains. You're afraid that you'll be no match at all for the Batman. You're afraid he'll just laugh in your face. Nein, that is not true. That is not true. Whatever, Carl. I honestly don't even care anymore. Nein. May I have a look at your coffee mug, Herr Doctor? What? My mug? Yeah, I would like to have a look at it. Why? Why not? That you think pathetic loser has been Dr. Death is going to do something dangerous? Ah, oh, fine. Here. <sighs> yeah, yeah, very nice. World's greatest psychiatrist. Uh, it was given to me by a colleague. Yeah, yeah, how nice. <coughs> Pathetic loser has been a eh, hair doctor. I'll show you. I'll show the flutter mouse. I'll show them all. Appears to be alive. Well, don't you worry, Jeremiah. Dr. Crane is here to help you. 